Hey guys, I had to make a quick video to tell you guys what happened to me and Joe a little while ago. Okay, today is Friday, so I went to pick up Fabian after school. Um, went to, we went to Rite Aid, had to go to the store and buy some, um, I, I drink prenatal vitamins. My doctor told me to take them because I was taking a bunch of other ones, like vitamin D for my depression, and she told me I should just take a multivitamin, which is a prenatal vitamin, which has a bunch of vitamins in one pill. So that's, I ran out of them, so I had to go buy some. And so we go, all right, and then on our way home, I, I told, I wanted to make a video for you guys, showing you guys um, here in our, in our town where we live, there's a lot of um, fields, and then there's, you know, trees, um, there's just, a lot of space, I guess, and just a lot of highways. So a lot of people think, a lot of young guys, people think that it's, you know, it's safe for them to get drunk and drive. And so you end up seeing a bunch of, um, I don't know how you call them. You know when somebody dies in an accident, they put a cross there. And they go, family members go and leave them flowers and all that stuff. So we stopped at one, a big one, and where well, a couple of people died. Um, coming home from uh, like a club or a, a dance, something like that, a party. And so we are good, you know, I recorded it, I'll upload it here later. Um, so we leave. And then uh, I told Joe, oh, there's another over here, I remember. And it's passing a little bit around my house. And, and uh, again, we live like in the ranch area of our town. We don't live in the city. So where we live is a lot of fields of like people grow different things or, or just ranches. So, and this was in the middle of a field. Well, not in the middle of a field, but there was like a house across from us, but I didn't even know it was there actually, now that I think about it. So anyway, point is that I got off to record of another accident that happened to this other young guy who hit this, um, this cement thing and he died instant because he crashed right into it. Um, so, so I got off and, I, and right before I pulled in, I told Joe, I was like, oh man, it looks pretty muddy here. Hope I don't get stuck. Yeah, exactly, guys. We were stuck. I tried pushing on the gas, trying to get out, and my car would go like this. <laughs> oh my God, I was so scared. And then um, Joe's over there, we're all praying and praying, oh God, help us get out of here. And I was looking outside. It's already dark. This happened about an hour ago, hour and a half, maybe, at the most. So, anyways, um, I called my husband. I'm like, Hey, where are you? And I said, are you still at work? He's like, yeah. And I said, oh, what time are you going to get off or come home? He's like, I don't know. Uh, we're still going to work for a little bit. He said, why? I said, because I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> He's like, what? How the hell did you get stuck in the mud? I said, we came over here by your friend's Eric's old house to look, take videos of uh, when that man who crashed and whatever. So I told him, he's like, and I said, is it really going to get dark? Hurry up. I was like, I'm going to try to get out myself. He's like, okay. All right. So that's it. We hang up. So I'm outside and it's muddy and I was wearing chonkless again. I don't know why I wore chonkless when I go take videos. And so I was putting stuff underneath the tires and my car is not a four wheel drive. It's only a back drive, like, uh, however you guys say it. So I was, go I was putting stuff in the back and all of a sudden these men come like from across the street from the bushes because I didn't even know there was a house there. They came out and they're like, oh, are you okay? Do you have a flat tire or whatever? I'm like, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. They're like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. We'll get a quad and pull you out. And I was like, are you sure? He's, they're like, yeah. And so I was like, all right, and I got this on video. And then um, I got it on video when they were pulling out my truck. Anyways, guys, so that happened. Just wanted to let you guys know, real quick, don't go into the mud after it rained. It just poured and poured yesterday. And me, like a retard, I go in there, sorry, sorry, bad word. But anyways, um, I go in there and I get stuck. All right, guys, just wanted to tell you guys what happened to me a little while ago. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video so you guys get to see it as it happened. Have a good one, guys. Stay happy. Hey, guys, guess what happened? Look at that. I, I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them. We got I'm stuck. I want to tell them. Uh, we got stuck in there. <laughs> we got stuck in the mud, you guys. But thank God there's few neighbors. Because if we would have been anywhere. I've seen there's, I'm in a, like a busy highway. I 
Ahí van bien recio por aquí. making a video for you guys. Oh, thank God, look. Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to be stuck here forever. Me too. But thanks to these neighbors, we're not stuck. Yeah, they pulled they're us out, guys. Let's see what I get. Muchas gracias, hoy es mucho, mucho. Me hubiera estado aquí hasta la noche. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> oh, look at my mom. Look oh, at my tires. Oh my yeah. Let's go. Can I go pet him? No, no, no. We gotta go. Ay, así puedo manejar, la verdad? Sí. Ay, okay. Gracias, oiga. Oh, hurry. There's a car coming. Hurry. Sí, sí. Yo estoy bien chiquita. Ay, gracias. Me llamo Lina. Mucho gusto. Igualmente, Marco. Gracias. 